play action. Oh. Capaldi wide open. Stocker, touchdown, Melbourne Prep. Capaldi facing the four-man front by the Wood defense. Capaldi drops back, goes in the air to his right side. Wide open is Yanni Nash. Watch him go across the 20. Goodbye. Touchdown, Malvern Prep. Wow, just a great play there. First and 10 from the 20. Right up the middle, a burst. He's free. Touchdown, Malvern Prep. Wow, they go back to the Wildcats. What a momentum swing here by Malvern Prep scoring on back-to-back -back drives. Isaiah Wright, a 20-yard touchdown, his third of the season. So this offense has not been able to get in a rhythm so far. They're going to go for it on fourth and three from the 42. Holtzman out of the shotgun. He's going in the air. He's looking. He's looking under pressure. He is brought down and sacked by Malvern Prep. That is number 51, Colton Deary their defensive tackle, and he made a, you want to call it a wrestling move there. That guy is a beast. He will wrestle at Maryland in the Big Ten. He will also play football there. The University of Maryland commit coming up big on fourth and three. That is Cole Deary, the All-American senior. Reed's punt is high. It is deep, end over end, fielded by McHugh from the 28. He weaves through traffic, and he is tripped up at the... 37, and that's where Archbishop Wood will take over. We have a flag on the play. Malvern Prep looks to spoil that today here on Malvern Prep TV. Tom Slate, I'm Jeff Skaversky. These teams offensively mirror each other. Big offensive lines, they like to run the ball, and we'll see a lot of that today. This game's gonna be one in the trenches. Back to the broadcast booth, Jeff Skaversky along with Tom Slate. And so far, Malvern Prep, their offense, they've established things after some quick three and outs early on. And it has really been Nash, Stocker, and Wright getting it done for the Friars. Freshman punter Leo Risi back from his own end zone. It is away. He doesn't get much on it. It takes a friendly Archbishop Wood bounce. A very wow. generous bounce. It goes out at the 44, and that's where Malvern Prep will take over. 52 seconds to go here in the half. They can extend their 14-point lead. 45 seconds to go, first and 10 from the 35. Wharton remains in at quarterback. The backup, he goes in the air to Marcus Dixon, and he is in to Malvern Prep territory. A big gain across the 35 from the 10, and Wharton is brought down, a sack by Malvern Prep. What a defensive stand by Hayden Pay coming up with the sack, his second of the game. Offensively trying to get something going now with sophomore quarterback, Makai Wharton. He steps up into the collapsing pocket, he throws into the flat, and that is Andrew McHugh, the first down and more, a gain of 13. Look, you want to establish some confidence in your starting quarterback. And he guns it in there to Andrew McHugh. First down and more. Knocked down inside the five. And here come the Vikings. The previous play set up by Andrew McHugh. He had three receiving touchdowns in the opener against the Chamonix. Zero since. They want to get him going in this game. And really, whether it's for this week or going forward, Archbishop Wood needs their offense to be sharper. So Holzman's still in. Second and six. It is picked off in the end zone. Isaiah Wright for the Friars. And Archbishop Wood still held off the board. You have to wonder what's going on with the Archbishop Wood, the offense and the passing game. You know, Matt Walpe brought over Mike Watkins, the former head coach of Bishop McDevitt. He's their passing game coordinator. Like you know, going into this game, they had a lot of chemistry, a blend of that Bishop McDevitt team a lot of their stars came over here when Bishop McDevitt shut down and Mike Watkins the former head coach of Bishop McDevitt has not been able to get this team to really gel offensively today but give a lot of credit to the Malvern Prep Friars they will start offensively first and 20 from the 10 final two minutes and change to go here and I assume they will run it out they do so right he gets a yard or two up the middle after that interception they go right back to him and you gotta think he'll need some Gatorade, some water. He's been everywhere. He's been a beast today. So that'll do it from Franklin Field. Malvern Prep winners, 21-0. They win their second straight, advancing to two and one. Archbishop Wood losing their first of the season, falling to three and one. For Tom Slate, I'm Jeff Skaversky. That is a final and a wrap from Franklin Field. We'll see you next week.